Ah, oh, finally, a place where I can belong. From above, the mighty sweeping dome of heaven came down all around and blended with the mountain edges below. The country lay spread out in the glory of its autumnal dress, its gold and crimson, brown and green, its pearly lakes and threads of silver. Unmistakable, with its slide gouged pyramid profile, capillary-like ski trails, and summit silo. This basket of my lineage is six feet from a full-length mirror in Massachusetts, and not only does he use solely the force in his midsection to power his seated body, which is wearing a vest and tie, I have to add, toward the mirror. When he arrives, he leans in quick, and steals a kiss away from his own curious reflection, then does it again. I have the deep violet taste of walking home in the dark with a new boy, holding hands and laughing while my neighbors slept in faded rooms, and the lilacs, the lilacs leaned their cool faces toward us, a thousand pentacles, night pulse of bloom. I lived in the Rock House on the Columbia, a wonderful little fieldstone cabin about 10 miles out from the main buildings, where I had been given the job of using binoculars twice a day to check on one of the herds of horses living out in that part of the ranch. Yes, yes to a thousand ripples on the river. Yes, to the sound of the geese returning. I saw them land two by two on the pond at Maple Hill. I saw them circle and know just where to cast their eyes, just where to go over their wings, to the very spot they wanted to be. I saw how they did this, and now I've decided I will do this too. Where candles lit in alcoves warm the whispers to saints and lost loves. When all else fails, we'll find each other there, north of us, in that far, impossible city, that island in the dark. City of miracles and high collars, where snow erases everything and everyone walks on water. Because mansions reclaim marshland, because spring opens degrees warmer, frog will breed no longer by the river's edge, nor leave egg sac under sodden forest land. And Nat, the light is red. Nat, the light is green. And who but you has permission to screech his name like an irascible mantra? And he does make you laugh, sometimes by not saying anything. And Things are happening, things that weren't before. Shakespeare is alive in the forest. The moon is a gold nugget in my palm, and the shadows in the park dance waltzes at night with the wind. These are not unusual things. It has simply been a long time since our eyes were open. The ghost down the hall, tonguing the grooves of his favorite 45. Stills of a summer I never knew. Marches and riots, a lanky blonde boy shooting up, Granny's gawking at queens in purse. <laughs> but something in this moment knows nothing can be this beautiful without also taking something away. Being almost there is a kind of pain. Sure looks bad, they won't give peace a chance.